Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for 100 subscribers and as promised, I come bearing gifts. But before we get there, we still have a huge problem. 89.1% of you are not subscribed. If you do the math, we should quite easily be over 500 subscribers. Oh, and you're gonna want us to reach 500 because I have some good stuff for you when we get there. Before we get into the video, I want to lay out a roadmap for how we're going to destroy Cambridge. Many of us have suffered the wrath of Cambridge, but this year, we make things right. Yes! Here's the game plan. Currently, we are here and we need to get there. And we need to do this as soon as possible because finals are in May. We don't have much time. Ideally, we want everyone to have access to all the worksheets by mid-April so that we all have ample time to prepare for the final boss, that is, Cambridge. So make sure to subscribe, get your friends to subscribe and even your teachers because this is a revolution. Now, on to the matter at hand. According to our roadmap, we're on to phase two, stats one. If you haven't watched the phase one video, that's the pure one maths breakdown, go watch that first. But anyways, you know the drill. I went through all the stats one papers from 2020 to 2023. That's about 6.5 questions per paper and a total of at least 182 questions. Although I came across some pretty interesting trends, I don't know how to say this. There isn't one standout topic. There's two of them. In 2020, discrete random variables literally obliterated every other topic by at least one full mark. It averaged 11.4 marks per paper and second place normal distribution was far back with 10.4 marks. But then in 2021, discrete fell to 11.1 and the normal distribution slowly inched forward to 10.6. Nothing significant but growth nonetheless. At this point you're probably wondering how discrete random variables isn't single-handedly the most important topic. Just stick with me. In 2022, my word, we witnessed an absolute masterclass. A whopping 11.7 marks per paper from none other than pause. Comment down below. What topic do you think I'm about to say next? The normal distribution and it clear discrete by 1.1 marks. Was this the turning point? Cause it doesn't stop there. In 2023 it averaged 12 marks per paper which is simply ludicrous. So now it's pretty clear that we have two standout topics. One on the decline and one on the uprise. When you average out all the marks for papers from 2020 to 2023 we have a winner though. OP there's only a 0.08 mark difference between these two topics. So without further ado, the most important topic in stats one is... Drumroll please. The normal distribution, with 11.2 marks per paper closely followed by discrete random variables. I know the difference between discrete and normal distribution is minuscule, but if we look at the trends over the years, we can tell that the normal distribution is certainly on the rise, and I suspect that by the end of this year, it won't even be close. But what makes these two topics valuable? Let's start with discrete. It consists of three subtopics, the probability distribution table, the binomial distribution, and the geometric distribution, all of which almost always appear in every paper, hence the 11 mark flow for discrete random variables. On to the normal distribution. It typically has a three part nine mark question, and one in three papers have the five mark approximation question, hence the high average. On the other end, probability is the least valuable, but it has some overlap with discrete, so make of that what you will. The other two topics, representation of data and permutations and combinations, have around 9.5 marks, so don't neglect those either. And remember that stats one is out of 50, so every mark matters. Now let's move on to the common questions for stats one. Master these and you're guaranteed an A star for stats one. Dare I say you could even totalize the whole paper. For representation of data, we have coded data, mean and standard deviation, both grouped and ungrouped, and then drawing one of the histogram, cumulative frequency graph, stem and leaf diagram, or box and whisker plot. For permutations and combinations, it's either an arrangement, a permutation, or a combination. For probability, the question where they give you a table with data, the tree diagram question, which usually comes with conditional probability, and the independent events question. For discrete random variables, we have the probability distribution table question, binomial distribution question, and the geometric distribution question. For the normal distribution, we have the standard find the probability that this is less than that, which is usually accompanied by a find the value of t question. Then there is the find in the value of mu and sigma, and finally there is the approximation question. If this video gets 200 likes, I will create a series showing you how to solve 
all of these questions. So smash that like button. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for. The Stats1 worksheets. As promised, they're finally here. Get to your browser, type in GCEA Level Maths 9709.com. Sign up if you haven't already. It's completely free. Then head to the topical questions tab and you'll find the Stats1 worksheets. I put in blood, sweat, and tears making these worksheets. Yes, maths can make you cry. If you want to support the movement, feel free to donate. Link is in the description. You can also donate by simply sharing this video to others who would find this useful. Use the worksheets responsibly. If you need additional help, sign up for tutoring on the website and I will personally assist you. Tell Cambridge we're coming for them. Otherwise, the ball is in your court. Play ball.